Greetings, y'all. My name is Reese Koppel. I'm the coach of the Yale Bridge team and the founder of acebridge.org. We've got a really fun video in store for y'all today. Today is our card combo challenge. I've been really excited to make this video for a while. Here, we're gonna be looking at a few different card combinations that get increasingly more difficult. And it would be really nice if y'all would just pause, think about how you'd play the suit and then see if you're right. It's really going to get increasingly more difficult. And if you haven't seen any of our card play videos before, I highly recommend that you begin with either our high from the short side video or the eight ever nine never video. I'll put the links to those below. If you haven't seen those or if you're unfamiliar with those concepts, go take a look at those and then come back right here. So we're going to get into some pretty tricky card combinations here. But I know y'all are pretty competitive, so this should be pretty fun. All right, let's get started. A little two no trump opener. Bidding's not the focus of this video, so I'm going to try to not distract from the focus on card combinations. Here, we're looking at that spade suit, as we're going to do all day. We've got ace, jack, nine of spades, opposite three, small. Right combination here is a deep finesse. We're gonna put our nine to work, okay? Leading up to the nine here. This is gonna help us when West has either the king or the queen or the 10 of spades here. Gonna win this heart, come back and play the spade finesse again. Hoping to find West with one of those honors, as well as we know they have the 10, because East would have won the 10 on the first round. All right, we played low to the nine, low to the jack. That's the winning combination when we have ace, jack, nine, opposite three, small. Let's move on to the next one. So we've got a few more hands in store for today. Here we're going through the stamen sequence, showing our four card heart suit, but partner didn't like that. That's okay. All right, here's our second combination. King 10, nine, eight, opposite three small spades. Think about what you do here, trying to maximize the amount of tricks in the spade suit. The right answer is, to lead up to the eight of spades. Could play the 10, they're in dummy. Everyone knows they're equivalent, but here's the thing. This will help us when East, or I'm sorry, when West has a spade on her, right? If West has the ace or the queen or the jack, this is gonna help us out. Playing up to the strength again, and there we go, all right? We're even going to do it a third time, taking West for an honor. There we have it. Here, obviously, you want to win that trick, cashing our third spade or thirteenth spade to the bank. All right, guys, onwards we go. Here, still, stamen, balanced openers. Card play is the focus. Card combo challenge. All right, this is a fun one. This one's tricky. You might want to start with the queen of spades here, which you would do with the 10 of spades as well, but we don't have the 10, so we can't afford to start with the queen. The reason that is, starting with the queen for a traditional finesse, we would be hoping to find east with the king, right? Hoping it goes queen, king, ace. However, then we'd be in trouble, right? Because then we'd have two small spades opposite jack third. That's not good. Then we're really looking at a very high chance of losing more spades. It's actually guaranteed, right? Because we're missing 10, 9, 8, 7. The best probability is to play the ace of spades then lead up to our queen jack, okay? It's our best chance at extra tricks. And it's going to help us when someone has four spades to the 10. As we'll actually see 
at the end of this hand um, is exactly what happened here. You know, I'm going to play this one out for y'all just to show you what this looks like. Uh, let's throw a club. Um, let's also get some heart action. There's another fun finesse for you. Fun com card combination as well right there. Um, let's set up a club. You know, we might not make this, but hey, that's life, right? That's how it goes. Oh, well. You know, can't take them all. But, here's the thing. We had to lose those diamonds anyway. And what's really important is, look at this. If we start with the Queen of Spades, we'll lose to West's King, and later we'll lose to East's 10987, which would then be 1098. So because we only lost one spade, I think we might get a good board here. Because, here's the thing. A lot of people are going to start with that queen of spades and lose two tricks. Remember, it's not the cards you have, it's how you play them, right? And we played the suit with the perfect card combination, so we won three spade tricks. Therefore, we probably got a pretty good result here. Let's keep going forwards. Five card major, but still 20 or 21 points. I like opening this to no trump. And partner would ask about a major if they were interested. Played puppet stamen, you might find your 5 3 fit in spades. However, that's all right. And they're getting the suit started for us, so that's scary. However, let's think about this suit. All right? Got queen 9 little opposite ace jack 8 fifth, okay? The right way to play this suit is on the first round. You want to play low. Okay, you lead low up to your jack, all right? Here we're getting lucky. And because we got lucky, which we love, we want to come over here. And now we're going to start with the queen, okay? Now we're going to start with the queen. We knew something was up because of how they played that. And now we're going to go over. They've got two more spades. I always like to think about how many they started with. They might get one to stand up, but hey, that's okay, all right? It's part of how this game goes. And look, they don't, because here's the thing. We kind of wrestled out the 10, right? They had 10 fourth. They had four spades to the 10, and that's what helped us, right? That's how we were able to get extra tricks here. And look, we're going to finish up this hand as well, just so I can show you the full deal. Because here's the thing. If we had started with the queen, it would not have bode well for us because here's the situation. We're going to look in one second. Right, we start with the queen. If it goes queen, king, ace, eventually it looks like east is going to get their 10. Okay? By starting with a low to the jack, this is better for us in the higher percentage of hands, and therefore. We're going to get extra tricks, even when we get, you know, an adverse split in spades. That's okay. Let's keep going forwards. Another nice balanced 20 count. Let's say spades, and hey, we like that, all right? 4-4 four, four spade fit, we like to play those in spades. We love our majors. Now we've got queen fourth opposite ace 10-9-8. This is a fun one. This one comes up a lot. Y'all know what the right thing to do here is? This is a tough one. We start with the ace. All right, we start with the ace. Then we throw down the 10, trying to catch west with either the king, the jack, or both. This is our best chance at extra tricks here. We never want to play an unprotected queen. All right, if we started with the queen, we'd be in trouble. Might go queen, king, ace, and we'd be no better off still having to lose to that jack, right? However, this was really fortunate for us because it's actually the odds say, probabilities say that we have the best chance at securing the maximum amount of tricks. Low to the ace, 10 back towards the queen, and if they play low, we play low. All right, that's our finesse. Okie dokie. 
reaching the end here. It's getting into some tough ones. Hope y'all are sticking with me because these are some fun common card combinations. Three no trump, our old friend. West led the 10, which makes me think he doesn't have a queen of clubs. And lo and behold, there we go. All right. Here our combination is two small opposite ace, queen, nine, fifth. Some of y'all might know this one. But if you don't, here's the answer. We're going to play up to that nine. We like to make our nines count. East puts in the ten. That's okay with us. We just cover it with the queen. Okay? Notice how the ten, queen, and king are all gone. And now, what we want to do is play up to that nine again. Okie dokie. Here we go. And now, hoping for some luck, right? But we're okay. Because we were able to promote. Lose to the seven, you know, that's okay. We worked hard for this last spade, you know? Sometimes that's how it goes. If we had the seven, we would have been all right. But you always got to watch those spots, right? Very fortunate that they could not return another diamond, or another club, rather. And in this case, we are all set. Low, if, they, if East plays a low spade on our low spade, we put in the nine. Because they put in the ten, we put in the queen. Then they're never really going to get their jack, all right? It's really important, and that is how we want to protect for those adverse splits. Sometimes they don't split the way we want, and therefore, you know, doing the best we can with what we have. All right, y'all, this is our last one. This one's pretty tricky, but I think that y'all can do it, all right? Showing our spades, balanced hand, but got the five card major, and here we go. This is a fun one, all right? I have a pretty fun video on when to pull trumps. I'll throw that one at the bottom as well. This is important. Here, we do want to pull trumps because we don't need to use them, right? There's when to use them, when to pull trumps. Here, don't need to use the trumps in dummy, but I already made a whole video on that. Y'all could definitely check out. Here's the situation at hand. We've got ace fourth opposite king queen fifth. Missing jack ten little little. You know, almost always this is a nice walk in the park, right? It's a very, very good chance that they don't split 4 0 and we're okay. But what if they did split 4 0? That is the question. Here's exactly what to do. Think. If West has Jack-10, Little, Little, it's bad news, okay? They're going to get one of those because it's behind our double honors, our king-queen. If East has Jack-10, you know there's a chance we can pick it up. And one thing, the reason we're worrying about Jack-10, Little, Little in one hand or the other is because every other possibility will be fine, right? We'll play Ace, King, Queen, and they'll all show up happen 98% of the time. But here, this is a fun one. You don't want to start with your double honors, okay? Play low to the ace. Low to the ace. All right. Now East has three to the jack-10 left. I'm going to play back to our king-queen-9-8. They played low, we play low. And this is really important. So hopefully we'll discuss it again. Um, let's see if we can get back to the board. Hmm, this could be tough. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Nope. Perhaps we can get over there with art. There's our winner. All right, that was a close one. Here we go. Now we can finesse again, right? They have two left to the jack. If we start with our king, they'll get their jack. Well, if we go this way, we've got them squeezed, right? Whatever they do, we'll beat it. Now we've got the rest. Show's over. Here's the thing. We start with the ace of spades, which we did. It works. 
we start with the king of spades. This is our situation where we run into problems. King of spades, low, low. Ace of spades, low, low. Low. They'll have jack 10 in front of our queen 9. And they'll get one of them, right? You see kind of how it went through that? We have to start with the ace. And that way we can finesse. They'll never get their jack 10, 7 in front of our king, queen 9 because we did not start with the king nor the queen. This one's a little complicated. I think you can see it here. One last thing, like I said, if West has jack 10, seven, two, they're gonna get one for sure, because we can only beat their jack 10 once. Low, jack, ace, next time they'll get their 10, or eventually they'll get their 10, all right? So we thought, okay, very low chance they break poorly, but if so, which is a situation where we can handle it when it's an East, right? And these things, guys, they're really, really rare. But if you know them when they show up, that's how you really strengthen your bridge game. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all taking the time. And best of luck, best of luck in all of your bridge endeavors from acebridge.org. Thanks so much, y'all. Bye.